This is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes and MJ. MJ. And today we're going to open a jewelry bowl. This is a nice vintage bowl. I know my mother had a one for many, many years. That was our family salad bowl. So I need to, oh, it's really well taped here. Go in around the outside. I haven't weighed this. I haven't, I've looked as best I can. You can sort of see from the top a few things but you can't really tell so much from the side because of the pattern on the glass. So the big thing will be to get into the bowl as best we can. And we'll take the plastic off. And here you go, do it. You go, MJ, and be carefully pull it back as much as you can. And I'll try to cut the parts. Whoa! There we go. Very well done, MJ. Yeah, do we need some more cutting here? Okay. Oh. There we go. I'm gonna leave you to take pull that right out, pull it right off, and then oh, careful! Thing. Looks like there's something break. Oh, maybe it's just a, oh, everything comes out of the bowl. Alrighty. Well, almost well, everything. Okay, so we will go away. Take the plastic. Uh, take the jewelry off the plastic the tape and we'll be right back okay so what have we got why don't you start MJ with the few little things that you took off the top so we have this nice little bracelet okay you can't see really see it with your Fitbit you need to use your other hand or take the Fitbit off there we go so what kind of beads are they are they plastic are they glass I think I think the more crystal beads are um Plastic and then these spacers are like metal with some rhinestones. Very good, yep. Yeah. Okay, there's one. What else have we got? Here we've got a, an interesting sort of an attempt at a chachi bracelet. This looks like a handmade uh, bracelet. It's just got a uh, uh, satin type mouse tail and lots of faux pearls. These would be excellent beads to repurpose. They're very nice colors and in very good shape. Then next, okay. we have this bracelet here with a variety of different beads. Um, there's these purple plastic ones and then some crystally plastic ones. Then a few uh, more metal beads maybe metal or plastic are they plastic um, or metal no actually they're probably plastic painted to look like metal okay yeah and uh how's yeah. the stretch is it a good stretch? oops did it break oh no it didn't oh good i was afraid it broke okay so it's got good stretch That's no 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 all right well no no don't i do we wanted to see more whether the stretch was gone i wanted to see more whether the stretch was gone or whether it would so, yeah, these these purple ones might be glass. I don't think peep. they're glass. They're a little, they aren't as cold as glass normally is. Yeah, you're right. No, they're not as cold. Okay, what else have we got, MJ? Next we have this uh, nice bracelet made entirely out of black. Plastic beads. Very nice. Okay. Mm. Put this in the center, and that you can put stuff over that to show. Oh, yeah, you're doing fine. Doing great. And then next we have this What's... little bracelet here with some gold color. Looks like gold, uh, a coin pearl, and a freshwater pearl. Is it stretching? A little bit? Okay. Little Don't pull it too much. Yeah. I wonder if these the other pieces are silver. This is probably not. Feels like gold might be glass. There's some they these look like tiger eye. I'm yeah, not those sure. Are just plastic. Mm, those aren't. Those Probably. are tiger yeah, tiger eye. No, so not, we'll have no, to not those ones, the clear ones. Oh the clear ones? Plastic. Okay. 
Well, what we'll have to do is test to see if these spacers are silver because they've tarnished yeah. they probably like silver. Just, they might be silver plated. Okay. And then, wait. Next is, well, this. It's called memory wire bracelet. Memory wire bracelet. Uh, wait, it, it, it's a little tangled. Is there more than one? Yeah, it might be. Oh, yeah, it's, it's two matching ones. Oh, can you get them apart? I'll see if I can. Uh... You're almost there. I know. Keep going. Can I edit this video? No, no, I'll leave it. It, it went, Almost. there we go. There we go. So, these okay, there two we are. Nice matching memory wire bracelets. Are they identical? Uh, yeah, they kind of are. Slightly. I don't think they're, they're not exactly identical, but they're pretty similar. Well, this one's missing a bit of color on one of the beads. There's some nice beads in there. These nice, yeah. I like these big plastic ones. I like the colors of them. Very good. Nice okay, in. we'll put those aside. And then what else have you got there that came out of the top of the... Image. That's something you need to detangle. I'm going to try to find something that's not tangled that we can look at. Have to with. Okay, so there, is a lot, there are many tangles in this bowl because... Of how um, they, it was put in. Well, how this stuff was put in, but also because there's a couple of heavy illusion necklaces in there. Okay, so here's a statement necklace. There's the center focals. Those are really pretty. Oh, I like that. Excellent shape. And it's got a, a nice chain, lobster claw clasp, and a little bit of an extender if you want, if you need a larger area around your neck. It's fairly heavy. But, you know, to, to brighten up a dress or a suit, if you're going to wear it out, that even in a springtime suit, makes me think of Easter colors, doesn't it? Yeah. So, uh, there's a nice statement necklace. I'm going to put that off to the side with the necklaces. We have one earring, but we're using that as a placer so that we know where to put stuff in the camera. Um, here's shell, bits of shell, squares of shell, made again into a stretchy bracelet. So far, the stretchy bracelets um, are really good. Well, they're very good, and they there there's more stretchy bracelets than anything. Here's a a wooden stretchy bracelet, um, red and green, great for a kid. I don't know if I can get anything more out of the tangles. How are you doing there, MJ? I, I got the tangles out. I I'm pretty sure. Good. So uh, next we have this. Okay, where's the clasp? Let's kind of find the clasp. There we go. Uh, it's a... Can you describe it? Can, or can it's you? a three strand. Oh, let's move this out of the way and then we can put it down flat. It's a three strand golden chain necklace. Uh, with, um... What's it got? Little discs, little and black beads, little leaves. And then uh, the center strand uh, doesn't so really have any beads except for this one, kind of like the spacers on this bracelet. Yeah, so like a, a tube, right. a yeah. tube bead. That's lightweight, but very pretty little thing to wear. Yes. There we go. Let me see if we can move it closer. There we are. So two necklaces and lots of bracelets. Yes. All right, we're going to take a pause and detangle things. We'll be right back. And we're back. So um, this next thing is, um, I think it's a bell. Yeah, it's probably a bell. Uh, it has lots of cord. How many um, strands of cord does it have? Let's see. Four strands of cord. Okay, so show the front of the belt. I guess that would be this part here. So, uh, this is the one that you put it, 
the quartz fill. Um, it has add... a few of these wooden beads, these ones here, and then a few smaller ones, and like a smaller one where at the end of each cord. cord. Very good. So, an interesting belt, probably something we could take apart and reuse. Certainly, it's very good cord. It uh, feels like a waxed linen. Yeah. I'll let you get your next thing ready, and I'm going to show this. This is something that I saw at the top of the jar, and I, I was interested in. Get your next thing ready. So this is something I saw at the top of the jar and was interested in. This is a peacock pen with lots of lovely uh, little plastic stones. There's some kind of white, it looks like toothpaste or something on there. Something got spilled on it. So it just needs a good cleaning. And then there's a very wearable peacock brooch. It's beautiful. Okay, what have you got next? Next, we have this very long necklace. How be you? Um, it doesn't even fully fit on screen. How be you double it up so we can try to fit it on screen? Well, um, here we go. So, uh, pretty purple beads. Are they yeah. plastic or glass? They're, they're plastic. And then with, and then ever so often there's a few of these nice little metal beads or things. Nice little stations. Design. Is there a clasp? Uh, no, it's just slip-on. Oh, slip-on's over your head. Okay, very nice. Okay, thanks, MJ. Here's um, a silver tone necklace. If I can maybe dip it down a little bit. So, I saw a tag somewhere. Here it is. This says... Nygaard. Okay, so a good quality necklace. There's a little bit of yucky stuff in it. A piece of... Uh, paper or something so it's um, multi strand at the bottom down there comes up to these metal tone stations and then single strand and you could uh, clasp it anywhere along that to make it longer or shorter in excellent shape so a very um, very wearable very nice necklace We have this really pretty uh, multicolored necklace. With, uh, I like the browns and the turquoises together. I think they look nice. It's kind of peacock colors, so uh, it would go well nicely with the um, peacock pin you found. Oh, so how come? The, what, show us how the, the all the little seed beads at the bottom work. So that's yeah. something you don't see every day. All the seed beads are a bunch of different col colors, a different color for, uh, co color for each strand, and then a few of the, the uh, uh, strands have some of these little um, other little beads. Oh, little so metal? Are they metal or are they, can you tell what they are? I Think the metal. Oh, interesting. Okay. And is are the rest of the beads plastic or what? Can you? Uh, I think they're plastic, but if, but a few these the silver beads might be a type of metal. Oh, okay. While you're doing that, I'm busy untangling two necklaces that I thought perhaps were one. So here's a black. Uh, cross on a chain of uh, beads sort of separated like rosary beads but it's not a rosary it comes up to a uh, a lobster claw clasp and it's got an extender chain so I would say it's about 18 inches sort of a standard necklace length perfect condition um, anybody could wear that yeah but, that, um... uh, the black beads are plastic, but um, yeah, but no, they look. It looks very nice. Let's see if we can bring it a little closer so yes, you can see the detail. It is very nice. There on the cross. Nice ones. And it was tangled. I thought maybe this was one necklace with the uh, cross, but it's not. Um, I did see the clasp at one point. There it is. 
There's some very fine black chain and some of it's got little stations on it. It's multi-strand and as you can see it's tangled on itself. So let's see, we've got three strands total and the one strand is just chain with little stations. One strand is chain with plastic bead stations and that's and then there is what I think perhaps is just a plain chain but I can't it's tangled enough down here that I can't really tell so there's something we'll still have to detangle a bit better but again a very wearable necklace um, and in excellent shape Nice little necklace and um it's an it, illusion necklace. Yes, an illusion necklace. And there was a a cross necklace that I thought was part of it, but right when I went to pick it up I found out that it's not part of it. It's a different necklace. It's got some lovely heartbeats. Are they metal? Uh yeah. Be oh, they've got lovely rhinestones yes, and oh, they're not hearts. Can you bring it closer to the camera and yeah, show us? they're not us? hearts. The Three rhinestones. Oh, very pretty. So how about you turn it all over so oh, we see the... Oh, yeah, it was backwards. Oops. There we go. No, no. Very pretty and very strong illusion cord. So it's not going to bend and tangle. Well, it did tangle, but it's not going to bend like most things. Very nice illusion necklace. Yep. So this is something um, I haven't seen before. Let me just straighten the camera again. Whoops. So this is a very... Um, noisy. Oh, noisy. Oh, well. Okay, that's one way to put it. Let's see if we can focus on it. I don't noisy know if and pretty. I somehow managed to put the camera, the flash on, and now it doesn't want to focus. So let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. So it's just... it's. Be well, we sort of had it focus. There we go. It's beads and then little metal discs. And I would think, the, yeah, the beads are plastic, but they're very pretty. They have a nice finish on them, nice sparkly finish. So this is, a, I would say, is a choker necklace. It's, um, oh, I guess it's 18 inches. I guess the other one that I said was 18 was really 36. I was, I forgot to double it. So it's got a nice long extender and nicely finished with a little bead on the end. There we go. There's the focus. So there's the little end. And there's a better focus on the necklace. So, there, yeah, you could be jingle. Not, it's not quite jingly, but it, makes, it would make uh, noise when you moved. What have you got next, MJ? Next, I have this cross necklace. No, it's a rosary. Oh. You wait, didn't realize. Yes, I didn't realize. It's a, it's a nice it? little wooden rosary. There's the crucifix. Yeah. And then other necklaces. Sometimes these are and signed on the back as to where they came from. So this one came from, you can see the words, Jerusalem. And Beautiful. I, so this that's was... That's the rosary. That's the, well, the, the necklace that I thought was part of this. Oh. Well, that's understandable. That's very nice. So that's a tourist item from Jerusalem. A really nice rosary. I'm sure we'll find somebody who would enjoy that. Okay. Here's another illusion necklace. Ooh. And uh, sorry, I thought I had it untangled, but it's just a little crisscrossed. This has got some nice fiber optic beads. These ones that we might call cat's eye, they're also called fiber optic. And lovely uh, light, um, you know, sort of pale spring green. All plastic, so not heavy. Um, the wire is a darker gray, and then it's got the black connectors, and it has the darker uh, crimps. So it's meant to be the sort of the dark metal and the green. So I think that's quite lovely. Um, what else have you got, MJ? Next, we have this nice little bracelet here. Oh, what's it made out of? Uh, it's called, I think, 
quite a few of the beads are made out of glass. Maybe a few. Or shell? Yeah, maybe a few are Oh, shell. I see shell and pearl. Yeah. Wow. Nice shell and pearl. And uh, it, there's... A little close. There we go. There we can see them really well. Yeah. It's really pretty. It's very nice. Good stretchy bracelet, but not overstretched. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. So I have this, I think again it's a homemade necklace, but it's actually broken. This is um, plastic uh, crystal and faux pearl beads. And right here, you can see there's two ends that are knotted together into the uh, clasp. It's meant to be a two-strand necklace and one strand has uh, come apart. So um, I'll, we'll probably take this apart and reuse the beads because they would be nice. They'd be great in a wind chime too because they would weather nicely outside. Glass is better but certainly these would weather nicely. That would be pretty good. We have this V-strand necklace. Uh, yeah, put it. You can put it on the um, table. That's good. There we go. It, it was when we when we were untangling it, we realized it was broken, but we quickly fixed it because it wasn't that broken. So. So the clasp. Uh, it's a big lobster claw clasp. Yeah, it's huge. You need it for the weight of it. It's pretty, pretty heavy. Yeah. So that if you hold it up, by you can see that the, the black beads. Uh, there we go. There's one. The, there's the one black center black. strand that's that's um, the silver. Beads. Then there's the black beads, and then there's the final strand that's a little bit longer. That is um, the silver chain. And I think the black beads are plastic. Yeah, they're definitely plastic. Yeah. Okay. Um, I found this is an interesting necklace. It's heavier. It is plastic. The beads are plastic, but they're large. Um, there's no uh, clasp, and it's asymmetrical. So it has these um, rings on one side that are not on the other side. So those for people who don't like asymmetrical necklaces this one's not for you but it is lovely blues perfect you could wear it perfectly with jeans you could wear it with a blue dress you could wear it with a white t-shirt a red t-shirt so it's very nice and excellent shape and it just goes right over your head uh, then next we have this is um purple necklace with Lots of strands. Uh, let's see if I can count them all. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, about, about, about eleven, maybe twelve strands, I think. Wow. And they're all different. Yes, and they are, they're all different. One of the, this one strand, this almost looks like shell beads. I'm not sure. Oh, no, it's just the finish. Those, those are nice um, fire polished nice. beads. Yeah, it's very pretty. I like the, all the different tones of purples in um, that. And a, and a choker. It would, it would go nicely with, if it might, I think it might go nicely mm. with these ones. Yeah, they might, because they're going to wear them in different locations. So the, the bracelet is brighter purples, but this is very pretty. Yeah. Okay. So maybe like, it might go, those two might go nice with like a... So how many more pieces, sorry, how many more pieces do you have? Three. Okay. And you have two more. And, and the earrings. So this is unusual. This is a very modern piece. Uh... Little lobster claw clasp, silver tone, sort of a matte silver tone. Very industrial looking. It's got one glittery bead. Well, it's meant to kind of look like a, a druzy, I think. Now this is, it's 
uh, plastic, this big, um, a big ring with what looks almost like a spring. Yeah, it's a part of a spring, another ring, and a couple more plastic. If these weren't plastic, they would be, uh, they're made to look like, um, like agate. So I might have to, they might not be, they might actually be agate. This one looks a little like moss agate with all those inclusions. Or there's, um, what's it called? Oh, dendric, dendritic, uh, not dendritic crystal. What's a very common stone? Quartz, dendritic quartz. So this could possibly be dendritic quartz. It does look, um, does look more like a stone than manufactured. So I'll have to exp uh, explore this one a little bit better. See if, uh, you know, these are probably just aluminum pieces and they'll shine up quite nicely. Um, but again, a very modern, um, but very interesting necklace. I would wear that because it's just so very interesting. Next, we have this nice little, uh, not necklace, I think. Well, yeah, it's, it's meant necklace. to be a necklace. Yeah. Yeah, but it's... maybe with this interesting little uh, charm, I think it looks kind of like a teapot or something. It, and it has this little stone here. Mm -hmm. And it says artist's receipt. Oh, yeah. <coughs> it's hard to see. Yeah. Well, we can see it pretty good. And what's it made out of? Is it, what do you think? Sounds like plastic to me. Yeah, it's is the bead plastic. plastic as well? Or is it yeah, glass? Yeah, it's oh, plastic. Okay. And it's again on some uh, waxed cord. And show how the, uh, the uh, how it's made so it's adjustable. So uh, the bead here, here slides up and down mm -hmm. uh, so that you can adjust the size. Well, that and that's not the only way. These oh. also slide. These oh. not slide. Didn't hear like that. So, oh, that's okay. So that you can, so you can adjust it in two ways. You can adjust how far the bead is from the uh, little card, little dangle, and you can adjust the length of the necklace here at the top. Very good. So I have something cute. But I think I'll wait. Have you got any more? I have, I have, you have one more. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave the cutest thing for last. So in that in that uh, bowl, we found two single earrings. This one with a little piece with a couple of pieces of shell. So what we could do is put take the shells and put one on each uh, one on a separate earring and make a matching pair. This we'll just have to save this for. Um, Repurposing, so lots of rhinestones. I have two more. Uh, next, we have this pretty little necklace with a like a flower. Uh, Very pretty. Oh, I like that. With some nice rhinestones. Um, the uh. The uh, part that you put around your neck is awfully small, so... Is there a clasp? Yes, there is a oh, clasp. Oh, good. A lobster claw clasp. It's very pretty. Mm-hmm. There we go. Very nice. What else have you got, Miriam? I'm going to have one more thing. This nice little... Multi strand uh, necklace with a heart locket. I just realized it's a locket. But it ha the necklace has. Move your hands one, away so we can see the. The, the necklace has one, two, three, four strands. And then the locket's empty. Right oh, now. that's okay. Uh, th there's a really nice flower pattern on the locket. Um, so let's see the whole thing put it on the table and see how long it is 
for how short it is. Each of the chains have oh, a different bead. Yeah, there's some wooden beads, some, some seed beads. some plastic heart-shaped beads. That's kind of cute. Is there any marking on this? Oh, yes. I what does it say? Does it have a manufacturer? There's a little heart tag here. Let's see what it says. Put it in the camera, um, so in front of my hand. It says... Ah, oh, turn it, turn it up straight, oh, the other way around so we can see the S. Okay, so it goes like this. So, um, it's kind of hard to read. S P Y E C, I think. S P Y E C. We'll have to look that up. See if it, if who that manufacturer is. Okay, very good. Very nice necklace. So this one that was all tangled that had the three strands, it is quite long. So it's gonna be a 36 inches long. And it does, have only one of the strands has the beads the, the one strand is a plain black chain and the other one has the black stations so i got i did get that untangled and this i think is the cutest piece we left him till the end here is a froggy now he's he's just uh textured he doesn't have any stones in except he has some plastic eyes but he is a bolo so he's on a bolo cord and here are the uh, the nice ends of the bolo cord. They're pulled through disproportionately, but uh, that would be a nice wearable bolo if we straighten that out, pull that up. There you go. So I think that's a great way to end. Thanks very much to MJ who helped me today. And I think this was a very interesting, very worthwhile bowl of jewelry from my uh, local Salvation Army. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye now from MJ and Pat Hood. Pat Hood and Pat Hood.